we shall see the concept behind Ajax-based data editing. This is a form showing a simple table with each row having an edit button. When a user clicks on an edit button, a modal dialog should pop up. This dialog should be already filled with values of the row being edited. When save is clicked, an Ajax call should update the server. Let's call this form index.cshtml. First of all create an editor template to store the HTML for the form. You can have a look at the location here. The folder name is Editor Templates. And this is the partial view that contains the markup. Next create a public action for reading the partial view and returning the HTML for the form. This is the path to the partial view. This approach is lengthy, but can be useful in certain scenarios. A very complex form that needs view bugs for drop downs can be easily handled. And, of course, the data entry form and date editing form can share this common markup. Simpler scenarios could be done by writing plain HTML manually. A hidden divided should be used to store this empty form. The HTML for the form is obtained from the action we created in step 2. With each edit button we should associate a JavaScript function. I recommend a call like begin edit this. Inside this function use jQuery to read the entries in the row. Store them in variables. Here we have that hidden divided. Then again use jQuery to set the text boxes on hidden form to these values. And then show the divided as a modal dialog.
Now this model is up. The user has entered new values. In the click event for this button. First make an AJAX call to the server to send these values for updation. And in the callback function. Use these values to update the values of the row that was being edited. Again using jQuery. In this way both the client and server get updated. Thank you.